your business is in sync with LiveSync. This webinar is powered by LiveSync Accounting and Zero Accounting Software. Introducing Attorney Dexter Destajo. So we will do a walkthrough of the dashboard now, very quickly. So this is your dashboard. This is where you can select your companies here. This is where you can add files. So if you're familiar with Google Drive or Drive One or um, what other software uh, cloud storage we have, Zero has actually that has also. You can create files inside with Zero, and then you can send your files with this email. So if you have a bill, you can send in your email using this email. The Zero would receive this bill, and then it will file up here. You can create different folders for that. It's like a cloud storage for you. You can put all your files here. Maybe you have a lapsing schedule for your depreciation you can do that here lapsing schedule for your accruals and provisions you can save it here so that you can go and and forth and look at the data at any time while you are in zero the next thing would be the dashboard would look like this basically um, where is my bank so there's no transaction so your bank is here right by the way i would also going back to the chart of accounts there might be a question, how do we set up the PT cash, for example, or purchase fund or any fund that is cash? How do you set up that in zero? Now you have option, you can create an option where you can use that as a, create that as standard account. In our expert advice, which we did this for many years already, we advise that for any cash fund, you set that account as a bank account. Why? Because if it's a bank account, you can simply record cash expense directly as a spend money. And when you're receiving or replenishment, you just have to do transfer money from your bank to your PT cash. It's very easy if you're you are going to set up your PT cash or cash fund in that manner. Okay. Now, business menu, um, this is basically all your data entries here. So you have the short-term cash flow. And then business snapshots is just basically um, a quick overview of what's going on in your business okay you can see how much income expenses in graph form and then your profitability also in graph form your efficiency in your cash management and in your margins and then you know um, also your largest expenses will show up here so this is just as uh, another dashboard you can go and quickly look at instead of looking to a PNL so it's a e uh, user-friendly uh, report and then you have invoicing where you create invoices. This is where you create expenses or bills. This is your expense claim where the, this expense claim applies to if your employees would submit for approval for expense claim and then you pay them. So in this webinar, we're not covering that because that is already a paid module in zero. So a year ago it was free, now it's paid. So many of our clients is not using this module anymore. Product and services, basically, this is your inventory module here. And pay run, this is your payroll module. Zero, would, uh, the accounting menu would include banking modules here. All your reports is also here, okay? If you like one particular report, for example, accounts payable and accounts receivable, you just tick the star, highlight the star, that report will show up here as your favorite reports. Also, the same thing with your advance or your setting. If you want that settings to show up here, just go to the settings or advance, and then maybe you'd want to say tax rate as part of that favorite, it will show up tax rate also here. Now, contacts is where you can create contacts for your customer and your supplier, okay? And the, this is where the list of your customer and supplier will show up here. This one is the shortcut of your data entry. So instead of navigating, clicking here and click one more click, you can just in one click go to your data entry screens. So you can do invoice directly. You can do bills directly. And then you can do manual journal 
uh, spend money is here. So you can do invoicing, bills, you can do simultaneously with multiple open screens if you would want. Okay, so this is where you can select here. This lens here is the search um, option that you can search even to the detail of the invoice number or the bill number or the supplier name. You can type the supplier name, customer name, or invoice number. That will show up here, and then you'd be able to uh, go directly to that invoice rather than going to the individual dashboards. This is your notification, so in case you are not, you're delayed with paying and your credit card bounce when they ask you to pay, you would see that notification in this bell here. This is where you also use this in case you need help on the page. My favorite part here is really get support for this page. So I can type maybe invoicing and then this will give me an option on what to do with deleting, adding, inserting, and that there is an, a, a support a text from Zero Central where you can also get more information of what you want, want to do. This is also where your profiles can be done and then you can you know, fix your profiles, update your profiles here, put your picture if you'd want, okay? Uh, that's optional. And then your details as well. So you can pub do a public profile or an off profile if you want to see all other users to see you also in zero community. So, so, um, so that's it. Um, this is where um, zero dashboard overview is all about.